Okay, I'm here with Evelyn Hall and she is the manager at the north location of the First Alternative Natural Foods Co-op in Corvallis and I'm going to ask her some questions about the store in general, its products and everything that it has to offer its customers. So um, first of all, I guess what exactly does the term co-op mean and are the employees volunteers or how does it all work? Um, so a co-op is a type of business, so it's the way we structure our business, and it means um, that we're owned by our community. So um, you can become an owner of the co-op, you make an investment, and we have over 7,000 owners. Um, so that means there's no one person that owns the co-op, there's 7,000 people. And then we have, out of those 7,000 people, we elect a board of directors. They supervise our general manager, and then she's tasked with running the stores. Um, we are paid uh, employees. We do have um, owner workers that work in our store, so our owners can work for two hours a week. They earn a paycheck, but they really do it for the love of being a part of the co-op. And we also have support workers, which are our owners that volunteer their time and get a discount at the store. Okay. Um, what would you say is the main goal or the mission of the co-op? Our um, vision statement says that First Alternative aspires to be a cooperative model providing high quality natural and organic foods in a community oriented store. So um, we're uh, 40 years old and when we were founded that's what our founders said is our vision. So really what's in there is about providing natural and organic foods and being a community-oriented store, so really serving our community and serving our owners and giving them what they want. Okay. Um, how would you describe the typical shopper? Do you see a lot of college-age students or just Corvallis community members in general? That's an interesting question. Um, we have two stores, um, and our two stores have different demographics. Um, here at the North Store, we're located smack dab in the middle of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, we are neighbors with the Montessori School, so we have lots of families that shop here. We also um, live in a neighborhood where we have lots of college students, so we do see um, a fair amount of college students. And we uh, have a lot of longtime co-op owners that live in the Northwest side of Corvallis mm -hmm. so it's really a wide array and it depends on what time of day you come in the co-op depends on the type of okay. people you see. Um, what do you think that customers value the most about the store? Do you think it's the organic products, the selection, the freshness? Um, some of the things that we pride ourselves on and what I think our customers really appreciate is that we have product selection guidelines so we are our, our board uh, annually reviews the product selection guidelines and it says what we can and cannot carry in our store and also what we emphasize. So part of it is the trust in knowing that we've really looked and examined our products and uh, mm -hmm. a level of trust of what that is. We also have a really cool local six program where we highlight our local growers, producers, and manufacturers and we label that on the shelf. Mm -hmm. um, we have the best organic produce in town. Our um, produce department and the staff that we have are really amazing and they provide not only great products but really great service. Um, so that's the other part of what we do is really give great service and help people find what they're looking for. Okay, so a lot of your produce is local farmers. Are those some of the ones that farmers markets or how do you find your produce? Um, some, uh, uh, we're not a farmer's market, Okay. Um, so we, we're a full service grocery store, so it's this interesting balance of local's really super important to us, and our amount of local in our produce uh, department fluctuates throughout the year, so in the summertime we're getting, uh, we work with 40 different producers, and in the wintertime we just have a few. So right now we have really awesome local kale, um, collards, cabbage, um, but we always carry bananas and avocados, mm -hmm. and those are our best sellers. So um, we are committed to organics, so you'll find very few non-organic items in our produce department, um, and we're definitely committed to local. When we can get it local, we do, and when we can't, we work with organic growers and organizations that uh, share our vision, mission, and values. Okay. With all the emerging diet trends and allergy restrictions, do you have any specialty products that are specific to certain diets or gluten-free or paleo? I think I saw the yeah. gluten-free and 
Ab signs like that? Absolutely. We um, do have gluten-free signage in our store. So if something's uh, certified gluten-free, we'll put a little shelf tucker on it. Mm -hmm. um, we also offer like a gluten-free cooking guide. Um, we work with lots of lo uh, local gluten-free um, organizations and professionals, uh, and they like to tell us about their latest findings mm -hmm. and trends. <laughs> um, so yeah, we offer uh, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy, f you name it, we've got it. And uh, I, I do pride, have the really strong pride in how awesome our staff is at helping people find what they're mm -hmm. looking for. Mm -hmm. um, because even their uh, fads come and go, but food is food. So it's really about helping people read labels and connect with what they're eating instead of with just the label. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, the Dr. Oz trend happening <laughs> to us right now. So a lot of times Dr. Oz will say, go to your local natural food store. And we're so excited that people think of us as their local natural food store, um, which we're learning a lot about how to manage that and helping people find what they need mm -hmm. and or alternatives to what he's off or yeah. you know recommending mm -hmm. um so that's another specialty section that we're <laughs> serving we actually have dr oz shelf talkers up now oh, wow. dr oz recommended this on his show so <laughs> that's awesome uh what would you say is your most commonly purchased or most popular product our top selling items our, our hot bar and salad bar. So every day we offer um, lunch and dinner. We uh, have great food that we make in our co-op kitchen, mm -hmm. which is located at the South Store. Um, so that's, those are consistently our top selling items along with bananas and milk. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do you find new products or does it, is it people that are sending you stuff or how do you decide what to buy and put on the shelves? Great question. Um, lots of different ways. So sometimes it's a uh, customer request. Hey, I saw this great thing on Dr. Oz. Mm -hmm. um, I tried this at another store. When I went, people uh, are, we have co-op groupies. So when they travel, they'll go to other co-ops mm -hmm. and they come back to us and they're like, you have to carry this product. It's so <laughs> great. Um, we work with lots of great local distributors. So the distributors are, uh, the people that bring us the shipments of food mm -hmm. and they work with the manufacturers and producers of the products. Okay. So our distributors will bring us new products and say, this is really working well in our other stores. Um, and how else do we find new products? Things, mainly customer requests. Uh, we decide by our product selection guidelines mm -hmm. um, and space, because we only have so much space. So mm -hmm. that's really a consideration about what do our customers really want? Is it natural, organic, local? Those things help us decide. Mm -hmm. Do you have any special events at the store or ways to promote certain products? Yeah, um, well, like, Right now, we're getting ready to have a, we do lots of uh, demonstrations of food, so uh, cooking up recipes and putting them out for people to try. Um, every Thursday night here at the North Store and Friday nights at the South Store, we have beer and wine tasting. So we ask our um, local vintners and brewers to come and share their products with people. Um, in February, we have the wine soiree. So it's an event uh, where we sell tickets and people get to meet the people that make wine and try lots of different wine and chocolate and cheese. Um, we have events regularly. Some of our other ones that we love are our local Vores winter table. So we teach people how to eat locally through the winter because that's when it's you really want to eat that banana or tomato and mm -hmm. uh, how to make collards delicious is sometimes a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we have our harvest hoedown which is in September and we do that at our south store and celebrate the harvest and have lots of fun. Those are just to name a few. Okay. Uh, so I'm a new media communications major, so I just was just kind of curious about your use of social media and if that's a major aspect of marketing for you from new products or if it really helps engage the customers. Yeah, I would love to hear what you think about that um, because our, we do have a marketing department and they um, work hard to keep our social media up to date. So we do regular Facebook postings. We just started posting recipes on Pinterest. Um, we have a Twitter feed where we um, 
uh, tweet our soups daily. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, you can connect them all and they all talk to each other and do yeah. their thing. Um, but our, um, it seems that people really do engage with it mm -hmm. and our marketing department tracks it so each week they look at how many people have visited our website and how many people have liked us on Facebook and all that kind of stuff the most popular things uh, this month that people are talking about on our social media um, is our beer and wine tastings mm -hmm. so people get really excited about mm -hmm. that when they see that two towns which is a local cider mm -hmm. house is coming yeah. and so they like to comment a lot on that um, Monsanto they like to rant about that. Um, and what was the other one? I don't remember the other one, but uh, GMOs. Uh, so genetically modified organisms. Mm -hmm. So those were our top three and people really do seem to engage with our social media and then with each other mm -hmm. um, in that way. And we do lots of pictures and recipes and promoting new products and the idea of really helping it's a way we tell the story behind the food mm -hmm. um, and trying to connect people with the people that make the cheese or make the cider um, and you get a little bit you get more time than you do when you're just looking at the shelf yeah that's really cool um okay is there anything else that maybe you think people don't know about the co-op or that you think is like um, just that customers should know when they're on their way to the co-op or anything like that? Yeah, I think that um, uh, we are really open and accepting. I think that mm -hmm. people sometimes uh, like, oh, that's the hippie store, which maybe we <laughs> are and we love hippies too, but yeah. uh, you can find all different types of people here and all types of different products. Um, we're not necessarily a health food store. Like we have potato chips and chocolate, which yeah. are the best because they're <laughs> organic and natural, but they're yeah. still like junk food. Yeah. Uh, so that's awesome. And I think that really um, what people don't understand is what a co-op is mm -hmm. and what the co-op business model is. So it's really about having a community owned store versus making somebody money. It's mm -hmm. about here's what our owners want, need, tell us they love, and um, we do our best to provide that in the type of store they want to shop in versus uh, other grocery stores where it's about shareholders and mm -hmm. bottom line and making money, which we are a business, right? So we mm -hmm. have to make money to like fix the roof when it breaks, but it's not about somebody's vacation home. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And make sure to come out to the co-op at either their north location on 28th and Grant or their south location on 3rd. Their store hours are Monday through Sunday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m.